Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode on my channel. Today I'm back with one more raw jackfruit recipe. We had cut the raw jackfruit a couple of days ago and I wanted to finish it fresh. I didn't want to freeze it for a long time since it was a small one. And yesterday I made sabzi, kathal ki sabzi, raw jackfruit curry. With the video has already been posted. You can check it out. And I have some leftover curry with which I thought let us make some pulao. So the lunch is sorted out today. So let's proceed to make kathal ki sabzi ka pulao. It tastes so flavorful. You can just enjoy it with papad and raita. So let's get started. Here are the ingredients. Oil, 2 to 3 tablespoons or as needed. Then we have coriander leaves, handful. Salt to taste. And whole spices, I have taken cumin seeds, half teaspoon, cinnamon, 1 inch piece, cloves, 3 to 4. And 1 bay leaf, cut into 2. Ginger garlic, 1 teaspoon each. I am using crushed garlic ginger and two green chilies. We have some leftover jackfruit curry, one large bowl. Check out the recipe, the link is shared. Basmati rice, one and a half cups soaked. For spice powders, we have taken turmeric powder, quarter teaspoon, coriander powder, half teaspoon, cumin powder, half teaspoon, red chili powder, quarter teaspoon, garam masala, quarter teaspoon. For your reference, the ingredients list is also shared in the description box. Now heat oil in a pan. Add the whole spices. Saute them until they give out a nice aroma. Reduce the flame, let the flavors be infused into the oil. Now you can increase the flame and add the ginger, garlic and green chilies. Saute them. Cook until they change the color. And all the rawness is gone. Now you can see the garlic has become golden brown. At this stage you can add the washed and soaked rice. Use basmati rice for best results. Add little salt to taste. Remember there is salt in the curry as well. So add very carefully. Saute. Now add the spice powders, turmeric, coriander powder, cumin powder, red chilli powder, garam masala powder. You can see that the quantity of spice powders added is very little because we are going to add the cooked curry which already has lot of spices and oil as well. So even the oil I added just 3 tablespoons. Add some coriander leaves for flavor. If you have some mint leaves, you can add those also. They taste very good in pulaos and biryanis. Now add one and a half cups of water. The same quantity as rice. Normally in pulaos, we add double quantity of water. But here, since the curry has gravy also, so we add just less water. Cover and cook for a minute or so until the rice is little done. At this stage you can mix the curry. Because jackfruit is already cooked so we should add this halfway through not in the beginning. Give a gentle stir. Check the salt. Spice levels also can be adjusted according to your preference. Cover the lid and cook on medium flame. After some time, open the lid and give a gentle stir. 
pulao's have to be handled very gently so that the rice doesn't break reduce the flame and cover the lid again after simmering for about a minute or so you can see that the water has all dried up rice is nearly done at this stage we are going to keep it for dum place a griddle or tawa on the gas first increase the flame so that the tawa gets heated up well reduce the flame and you can seal the with the foil paper or with dough whatever you prefer foil paper is much easier low flame for few minutes or until the rice is done now check with the back of the spoon stir gently and so that the rice becomes separated and is fluffed up all the grains should be separated pulao is ready you can dish it out and serve such one pot meals are really very delightful you can just enjoy them with papad raita and especially when you make them with leftover curries all the flavors are infused into the pulao jackfruit pulao in particular looks like mutton or chicken pulao pieces look like boneless mutton or chicken looks so delicious and inviting garnish with some coriander leaves and you are in for a lovely treat so make and enjoy this delicious pulao have a look at the curry recipe also i in the previous video the link is also shared in the i button and description box friends if you are enjoying my recipes do subscribe if you have not done so and don't forget to choose the all option so that you don't miss out any notification thank you for watching check out these videos from the archives as well take care and stay tuned for the next recipe bye